Hello everyone, my name is Ruta and we will have a great training today together. This will be a full body workout that is targeted in improving exercise technical endurance, your body control and deep muscles working potential. We will start warming up our bodies with knee shoulder rolling. Start to slide your hands down the legs on exhale and on deep inhale go back up. Open your chest with rounding shoulders backwards. And some again. Concentrate on the breathing. Breathe out and breathe in. Keep your hands straight down the knees. Nice. Let's go. You have to feel some stretch in the upper back. Breathe in. In next one, we will start rounding our knees. So put your knees together and let's start. So five times each direction. Try to use bigger range of motion with every next five rounds to engage your legs more. This will nicely activate your quadriceps. And with every next time you go for the next direction, try to get bigger range of motion. And of course, remember breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Focus. starts to burn a bit but this is totally fine we are getting those muscles ready good <laughs> shake it off shake it off so in few seconds next exercise will be standing half forward fold so this is meant to activate your lower back and glutes, stretch your hamstrings. Inhale when you go down, exhale, deep exhale when you go all the way up to engage also your core. Be sure to keep all your weight on the toes and imagine your glutes and heels stay all the time almost on the same line. I know this might be harder, but with some practice it gets better. In few seconds, cross touch and reach will complement the last exercise we did. Hamstrings have been warmed up, meanwhile we activate upper back. Breathe in when you go up. Beautiful work. Keep going. Feel stretch in the upper back. Nice. So, next we will do some different exercise. Maybe you have done it, maybe not. So, lift your bent leg up and like you would be drawing a circle, then move it backwards, touch the ground and lift it back to the front. Always breathe out when the leg gets lifted up. This is a great option to warm up hip flexors, glutes, midsection and practice your balance point in the body. Try to focus just on this exercise. Don't think of nothing else right now. Good. So, guys, warm up is done. And in few seconds, we take half sumo squat position and we will circle the arms. Be sure to open your hands widely 
totally straighten it and move in same direction. Let's go. Try to hold your core tight. Do not move together with hands. Keep your hips flexed. Breathe. Breathe in, breathe out, but please don't stop breathing. can do this we have five four three two one nice shake it off right now we're gonna start to walk out by the hands to plank position then focus to keep midsection flexed in all times and start slowly getting down like in push-up and inhale in the in this part. Exhale when you push yourself up. Let's add double squat jumps for more fun and repeat this combination. If the push-ups part is hard, it is totally fine to push yourself up while you are on your knees. Same goes if you cannot jump yet, do the regular well-controlled squats. Both options are open and work just fine. At all times, keep your midsection tight. Beautiful work. Let's keep going. And the final one. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job. In 10 seconds, uh, next exercise can be done slowly. So open your totally straightened hand to the side and then stretch it to the opposite side below your chest. Breathe in when you go down, breathe out on coming up. Don't rush as I do it for some unknown reason. <laughs> so keep, keep going. You can do it slowlier. That's totally fine. And let's switch the sides. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep going. I know this may feel a bit hard at this moment. But soon it's over. In three, two, one. Good. Now you have 15 second break. And after that one, let's take low sumo squat pose and raise strand, straight hands up. Then move them around the world. Meanwhile, having all your weight on the heels as much as possible. It barely starts to feel like you would fall backwards, but that's the exact point we are looking for. Breathe in when you go down, breathe right away when you lean back up. Try to keep also the other leg straight. This nicely and in active way stretches your legs. We are halfway through. Let's go. Breathe. Please remember to breathe. Exhale and inhale. Let's go. Breathe out and breathe in. Just five, four, three, two, one. Good. 
let's shake the legs off. Good job, guys. Here we're gonna challenge more of your warmed up legs and that balance. So if your balance is not good, be sure to be somewhere near the wall. And first, take a long step lunge first. Pulse is without the jump. Second one comes with a small jump. Fix the body afterwards to get ready for the side switching. Here you can hold on to the wall. And of course, if it feels really, really hard to do that jump, it's totally fine if you don't do it. Try it before you cut it out. But if it doesn't succeed, that's totally fine too. Good. We have just 15 seconds left. So you can do this. I know there is some burn in the legs. That's fine. It should be like that. Four, three, two, one. Good. So let's get down on the back and we will start with single leg hip thrust with lifted leg. Push on your heel, on exhale, lift your butt up. Lifting with exhale will improve core engagement and activate deep support muscles. So breathe out and breathe in when you go down. Be sure to push on your heel and let's switch the sides. And let's go. Breathe out. And breathe in. Try to stabilize your hips so they don't move too much. Therefore, we really put the pressure on the heel. So, right now, let's face the floor and um, keep one hand down and the other knee is bent and the other leg is straight try to put your weight a bit to the front so your knee and stomach is not in 90 degrees so also hold one hand so that it is at 45 degrees inwards and most pressure feels on outer part of your fist this will help to find the balance point and also for those that have some problems with, with your joints this is gonna like make it less pressure there breathe out when you pull your hand backwards and squeeze your upper back muscles of course, keep your abs tight. Here the core is activated, so be sure to breathe. Let's shake it off a bit. And right now we have come to the bear walks. Oof. So first, let's form 90 degrees under your stomach and hold the midsection flexed. You can round your lower back a bit, it will help to hold the abs squeezed inside. Lift knees just a bit up so they wouldn't touch the ground and start walking two steps front, then tap your shoulders twice. And the tricky part here is to keep the body and hips without extra movements while you lift one hand up. So, as less you are moving, the more your core is working while keeping the balance. So don't rush this one. This is slow and well controlled movement. And I know this is getting quite hard. It feels in your shoulders and in the legs. Keep focusing until the end. It's last seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Well, 
the first round is almost over. We have two left in this one. So in, we will start to roll on the back and let's use the inners to get up and do double reaches. A big roll here, place your breathing. So remember to breathe out when you go up and do the reaches to the front. In this exercise is quite short, but same time intense. So breathe in when you go down, breathe out when you start going up and when you try to do the reaches. Keep going. You can do this. And you feel especially the abs when you go and do the double reaches and try to make it work together with the breathing. Then you're gonna get more out of this one. All right, let's get back on the floor. Take your breath. And the final one in this round is a toe cross reaches. So exhale when you lift yourself up towards your straight leg and toes. Going back down shall be slow and controlled. So round your spine like you would be a ball that is rolling down. This is good movement when you do it slowly. So don't rush too much. Keep your midsection tight. Let's go, last 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. So, this was the first round without breaks. We will start again in 15 seconds. Actually, it's eight left, so let's get ready. And because I got a bit overwhelmed, I mixed the exercises. We will start with low sumo squat pose and raise straight hands up in the air and then move them around the world. We did this exercise in the last round as the fourth one, but now we have a bit switched it. So right now you can see how it looks from the side. Try to keep as low as possible all of your power comes from pushing from the heels this is the way how we can get more out of this exercise and engage more muscles be sure to keep your core tight and breathe let's go we have eight seconds left And yes, it's done. We will go to half sumo squat position, but right now we are gonna circle the arms. But right now we're gonna go to the other direction. So it's backwards. Again, try to breathe normally. Try just to deep, take deep breaths in and also breathe out try to extend the time when the breath is happening don't move your hips try to flex keep them flexed 25 seconds ahead let's go guys this gets hard you can see it <laughs> it's not easy for me I know this is not simple, but let's get going until the very end. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Hey guys, 
We are in this together. <laughs> okay, so let's start walking out by hands to plank position. Focus on the midsection, keep it flexed in all times. Again, slowly getting down, like in push up. And two small squat jumps. Again. And on the exhale, we get up. If again, if the power starts to get less and less, you know that when you are getting up, you can still keep knees on the ground and go from there. And two double squat jumps. If also the squat jumps feel <laughs> quite hectic, <laughs> please do the slow and controlled squats. Try to keep the balance. Abs squeezed and keep breathing. When you go for squats, make sure also you try to put all of your weight on the heels. Nice. Let's get down to the ground and Open your totally straightened hand to the side and then stretch it to the opposite side below your chest. Let's perform this a bit slower than in the first round. There is no rush and this is not simple at any point. Focus. Breathe in when you go down, breathe out when you go up and let's switch the sides. Shake it off shortly and let's get going. Focus on breathing. This is the part where it gets a bit hard. You can do this. We have final seconds for this movement. Last, let's go, let's go. Good. So, again, let's challenge your very warmed up legs and the balance. Now, please be somewhere near to the wall so that if you have a need, so you can hold on. So, one lunge and the other is like lunge jump. And then you switch the sides. It's quite believable when you switch the sides, you cannot stay as low as it was in the first round and it's totally fine just please don't stop let's go we can do this this soon is gonna be over be sure to put all the weight on your heels don't put your knee too much too much to the front it's go it can start over exceed your toes that's what we don't really want focus final 12 seconds let's go let's go let's go the burn is real that's fine and let's have some rest for 15 seconds next let's go Again to the floor, we will have single leg hip thrusts with lifted leg. So again, push on your heel. The only thing we're gonna do a bit different this time is gonna be that last four or five seconds. In this, we are holding the hips up. I will tell you in five, four, three, two, one and let's hold the hips up and let's switch the sides beautiful let's go again exhale when you go up inhale when you go down all pressure on your heel let's go in five seconds we are again gonna hold the hips up and let's do it now and hold beautiful nice so first 
things first. Face the floor. We are gonna have one leg bent and the other leg straight. Again, find comfortable position. Put the weight on the one hand so the hand is a bit in 45 degrees and let's start on inhale the hand is in the front and we exhale when the hand goes backwards try to keep your midsection tight full body control and in few seconds we are already switching the sides and let's go the other side breathe in breathe out you can do this this starts to get overwhelming but let's go until the end we are not too far away from the finish line let's go last second so we will have the bear walks right now this is by far one of the most hardest parts in this workout so again let's form 90 degrees under our stomach and let's hold midsection tight and let's have those two step walks front and back and try to hold your body in as least movement as possible in this way we can engage the core more and of course the shoulders have also more work to do breathe all the way through we are very near the finish line you can do this let's go let's go let's go last 10 seconds we are in soon it's gonna be over we can do this last second amazing we're gonna roll on our backs again and we will use the inners we have and we're gonna get up and have the double reaches and again uh, remember about the breathing we breathe in when we go down and we breathe out when we go back up and do those double reaches and try not to slow down try to all the time keep the same pace breathe in breathe out nice work guys let's go let's go let's go let's go this is where it start to feel quite burning sensational feeling and that it should be like that last 10 seconds in this one and five so and we are at the final one toe cross reaches exhale when you lift yourself up towards your straight leg and toes again when you're going back down it shall be slow and controlled around your spine like you would be a ball <laughs> that is rolling down <laughs> perhaps every one of us at this point are but let's go we can still crush this one we are really close to the finish line let's go let's go let's go breathe out when you go up slowly go down and breathe in keep going these are the last 20 seconds and the last 10 9 eight seven six five four three two one Woo! 
let's go this is done and before you rush away just let's take one minute just to cool down try to stretch your neck a bit take a comfortable position hold one hand on the opposite side and then start to stretch and switch the hands and to the other side this has to be gentle you can do this also longer after then but right now we will straighten both legs and let's start to walk kind of over our legs to reach our toes breathe out when you go to the front and breathe in when you open again the chest and again let's go and a bit let's stretch it out and let's pull over one leg over the other and gently push on the heel so we feel that feel stretching feeling and the same goes with the other one push gently don't go over and we're done <laughs> good job guys this was an intense workout but thank you that you were with me and see you in the next workout